I've been meaning to film this video for a very long time, but I... <laughs> I just, I've always gotten caught up with something. So I'm filming it today. Um, I want to show you guys the stuff that I love about this car. It, I would say it's like an update of like how, you know, I've had this car for about two months now. So, I mean, as you guys could see from my last video, I had to clean it because I've had the car for so long already. I'm going to go over like what I love about this car, basically. I'm just leaving... Uh, my school's gym right now, so and this is the the best time that I could do this today and do it really quickly I'll try to at least and then go for a little drive with you guys right off the bat My thing that I wanted uh, if I were to get a, a brand new car was a heated steering wheel and because you know winters in Canada get quite cold I'm just so sick of getting in the car and like having like a you know a cold steering wheel and so i was like if i want something then i'm going to get a, a, a heated steering wheel and so i got that this is all perforated leather uh the seats are actually heated as well and there is a uh so you can heat them and you can cool them down there's like a, a cool in feature with the seats the the back seats heat as well as uh, as you could tell, everything's like perforated leather. The seat in itself is like, there's red stitching and piping, and then they have like, there's the GT logo right there. There's also a GT logo here that lights up when it's nighttime, and also on the sides here, these light up. You can change the colors of those. I haven't gotten like lights that go in your car. I haven't put those in yet. I'm just, I've been lazy to be honest. But yeah, and there's, there's not the, you know, traditional emergency uh, brake. There's an electronic one. Uh, it's quite fast, to be honest. So I'm not. I don't mind it, and I don't drift, so <laughs> I don't mind that. There's an auto hold, so when you're in traffic, you can, you know, put this on before you start driving or during driving, and then you know you're in traffic, you could just push down the brake, and it will hold hold the brake for you. The vents are also my favorite. Uh, you can kind of move it to wherever you want. It has you know uh auto climate change control whatever they call it i'm gonna turn the car on now because it's pretty hot out it does automatic i don't really use that i just do whatever i feel is best um but the vents are nice uh there's also uh carplay uh there's apple carplay and android i think i don't use auto i don't use apple carplay because i don't like um plugging my phone in yeah i don't like plugging my phone in so i don't use apple play i do have a charger there's three ports there's one for uh, this type of charger there's a USB and a charging port uh, this is a wireless charger and that doesn't charge fast at all I don't even use that to be honest I just put like random things there right now I have my phone there like you know the media system is pretty nice I mean you can put you can use satellite radio you get like three free months I don't really care for that I just play my own music. Like I said, they have Apple CarPlay. I'm not gonna go into that right now because I also don't even have like... Okay. Anyway, there's a navigation. There's a navigation system. I don't like it personally, actually at all. Um, and it's really hard to use while you're driving. Surrey doesn't, there is Surrey. Uh, there's a voice command, but it doesn't work that well. Honestly, I just use my navigation system on my phone that connects through Bluetooth, obviously. So that's also why I have this still here. Uh, but other than that, uh, the system, the, the media system is pretty, you know, nice. And there is like a lane assist feature, but that's not very reliable at all. It, the only time that I will use it is on the highway, you know, for long drives. For the actual like storage, this isn't that big. It's probably average. Um, center console, it's, it's pretty, it's like a decent little size. I mean, I have a lot of junk in here already. Um, Cup holders are fine. I don't really like the shape of them, but it is what it is. I usually just put my phone or some change in here. And uh, there's drive modes, uh, which I'll get into in a minute. There's a parking camera you could put on automatically. There is a vent in the back here for whoever's sitting in the back. And up here you have like somewhere the Put your glasses you have a sunroof in the canadian model 
some lights back here. They're LED. And you have these on each side. You have a little mirror and a non-LED light. I, I put my masks in here. I don't really use them anymore as much as I used to, but they're there anyway. And the trunk. I showed you guys the trunk in my last video. It's a pretty good size. It's actually a very very large compared to my last vehicle i mean i had a little clown car basically like a little hatchback so there was not much room in that um i really appreciate the size for this car because obviously i like going to costco and and there's push to start obviously you can actually also so you can turn your car on you can do an engine start with your keys so I could, I could do it like from my apartment basically and that helps like in the winter when I don't want to go out there, turn my car on and all of a sudden you can actually like there's an app that you can kind of like adjust all your settings like whether you want your heated steering wheel on before you get in the car um, you can put your heated seats on before you get into a car there is sports mode, uh, norm, uh, smart and normal I think my favorite, um, I think my favorite thing about this car is that when I, I told myself if I get a new car, I'm going to get a really good sound, uh, sound system. It's Harden, um, Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon I like much better because it is much more clear. This car basically came with absolutely everything I wanted plus the 201 horsepower. It has some power behind it. It's actually in direct competition with the Honda Si. I don't like Hondas. They're basic ass fucking cars. I really do not like them. The only thing that I liked about them is that you can modify them easily. But to be honest, I don't want to avoid the warranty anyway. I mean, I have a five year warranty on this and uh, it's good for while I'm in school at least. And so I just, I'm not a Honda person. I mean, everyone and their mother has one. They're basic fucking cars. And <laughs> it's just, I haven't seen not one person with this exact same car yet. So, I mean, these are pretty cool looking cars. Um, they're not bad looking. They're also just really good sporty cars. I mean, they're good budget sport cars. I mean, they're not like, you know, they're sporty. I wouldn't consider it a sport car, but as a mother and a student, this is a really nice car. I mean, it has a lot of power and behind the wheel and um, it just sounds nice when you're driving it. You don't even need to drive it in sports mode to, to hear how, you know, nice engine uh, revs. And also it, the downshifts, it rev matches on its own and all that good stuff. Like it's it's a really nice car. Anyway, it's a turbo engine, um, and so be it. And whatever. Um, I'm gonna go outside of the car really quick. It's starting to get busy at the gym here, but I'm gonna try to go really quick and do this and look like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my favorite part is like the wheels are obviously 18 inch. You have to get like. Um, low profile tires obviously so i gotta get used to that there is a fuck you know what i'm not gonna do this here <laughs> i'm not i'm not doing it here because i'm not like looking like a fucking fool <laughs> but anyway there's a, a dual you guys will see you guys look at reviews i mean i might show you guys here in a minute but there's a dual oh i didn't even realize that oh shit the seat can, oh my god, the seat can go up and down. <laughs> That's a, uh, I'm, okay, hey. No, okay, I just want to move it forward. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'll go, go for a drive with you guys. But anyway, it's a dual, dual, um, dual exhaust muffler. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a drive before my SD, um, has no more. So, yeah. So this is, I'm gonna do normal mode for a minute. It sounds good without being in sport, to be honest.
I mean, I really like this car. Um, it's a good little car. I mean, I can't lie. I mean, the price point is all good and stuff. All together with taxes and I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, I don't, I'll put up the I'll, I'll put the sticker price on the screen. I mean, I'm sure you guys can look at it um, online, but it's not a bad little car and I put enough money down onto it to when, you know, I want to sell it in about two to three years. I don't want to keep it for more than three years because it's going to depreciate uh, a lot. Anyway, I'm going to, my plan is to, to sell it again in two years or so. And so when I do so, um, I put enough down onto this car to where put enough money down on this car to where uh, I will have um, positive equity in this car and so I'll have a, a few grand to then put towards another vehicle after I sell this so uh, that's the good part of all this is that I set myself up for um, success for when I get rid of this car unlike my last car I was in negative equity because um, my interest rate was so high. This car, I've gotten it down like, um, I forget, it was like three point something. So I got it down quite a bit compared to my last interest rate, which helps. Um, I mean, my credit report is basically squeaky clean now, and so that helps. Um, but also like paying your bills on time and all that good stuff helps a lot. So I basically set myself up for success in the last few years uh, to be able to get a brand new car straight off the lot. I actually went to a different like town uh, to get a, you know some money off of the price um, because the admin fee was cheaper plus they gave me an extra couple hundred dollars off from going to their uh, dealership instead. So uh, if you're in Nova Scotia uh, and getting a Kia, I preferred, I, I would tell you to go to um, Centennial Kia in PEI. I got $700 off um, of the original price that I was gonna pay. Plus I got the car with like virtually no kilometers on it. It was brand spanking new. No one has drive, driven it. It had like 25 kilometers on it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was brand spanking new when I got this car. And I've already, as you guys could probably tell, I put like almost 2,500 on it already. So uh, I drive it a lot. I haven't went to, I, I did like maybe one longer drive with it uh, for a weekend. But other than that, I just go to work and do my errands. Um, I don't think I will put too much kilometers on this car, to be honest. I'm only keeping it for about two years, so... So I want to drive it in normal mode for a bit and then switch to uh, sports mode here in, in a minute. And if anyone's wondering where I got these things, I got uh, this scent diffuser on Etsy. It's like a mahogany teakwood scent so it smells really good and uh this i got from etsy as well i didn't really like the scent at all when uh of this but it kind of diffused pretty quick anyway um and then i just use like these little cheap scenty thingies so my car be smell good you know gotta gotta have a good smelling car um but yeah, I mean, I love this car. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's not bad. Um, like, what? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not missing like you know having a manual. To be honest, I haven't missed driving manual at all. Um, that's more relaxed. For driving automatic um, I could just relax I mean I like manual because I just like being you know I just like being more in control of 
how I'm driving and I just I just like to you know shifting but with the quality of the roads here and having so much hills it's almost like it's not fun driving a manual in the city and so it's just yeah maybe I might, I might get a manual like if I have the option to get like two cars one one of these you know one day I will um I will probably get a manual um but uh, if I had only one pick, I'd probably just stay with the uh, standard, or not standard, story automatic. Just a nice automatic. There's paddle shifters for when you go in uh, sports mode. I'm on sports mode now. Um, there. And you can like shift. Put me automatically in the okay. You can shift manually and it will shift for you. It will also like rev match for you. Shit. So you can use this to go in the sports mode, um, or you can like press this here. go into sport mode much because for one it eats up more gas uh, I gotta get in this uh, the other lane I always for fucking get I should have went the other way too because there's gonna be all kinds of traffic right now The shifts are really quick as well. We are back in the car. I had to go um, empty my SD card, so that's fun. We're gonna get back to driving. Put the, no, put, okay. All right, we're gonna put in sports mode. Okay. Please be patient, student driver. Oh, we love student drivers. <laughs> Maybe. This GoPro setup kind of hurt. Get in one lane, but... 
everybody. This weekend we could. Okay. And you can cash your points in the C1. Mummy has a bunch of free uh, movies on her scene card too. for my lamps. I'm doing like a little bedroom renovation. I'm just redoing my whole bedroom setup. So I got some big girl lamps and that way. Some big girl lamps and side tables. That look Nice. Oh, looks like it's gonna rain a bit. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about the car. I just really like it, you know? It's a good little car. You can hear the exhaust a bit. It, like, um... Sounds nice, like, uh, you know, rev it in and stuff, it's not bad. Oh, great, it's closed, of course it is, okay. Camera. 